And on the West Coast, cleanup efforts are underway following Hillary's destruction in California. Cath Cathedral City experienced the worst of Hillary's wrath. First responders used a bulldozer to clear debris. 46 people needed to be rescued after being trapped behind mudslides. Fox Weather's Nicole Valdez is in Cathedral City. Nicole, how are things looking this morning? Jane, truly an extraordinary sight here in this uh, Palm Desert area. It's hard to take your eyes off of the amount of mud that sits behind me, and I'm going to walk through here as thankfully dozers have cleared a small portion of the road because it gives you a better understanding of how many inches of mud we're talking about. So really regular asphalt level. You're looking at all that mud and it continues kind of going up, reaching all the way to the middle of the driveway of so many homes, uh, really just on this street alone. Um, not to mention the many others who had to be rescued from their homes, nearly 50 people being trapped by this mud. I mean, an all out mudslide, according to how people feel about this situation. And let me show you what those dozers were busy doing yesterday and why we're just now seeing the beginning of the cleanup of this mud. And that is because they were trying to get those people who needed to be uh, rescued, stranded in their homes, onto the front loaders, so the, the forklifts that were going here. Uh, you see maybe three people at a time sitting there having to just be, you know, driven out that way. Those uh, bulldozers really the only uh, sort of vehicles that are able to trek through uh, the density of the mud that still sits here. Now it's been about two days or so, maybe a little bit more like a day and a half where we've seen, uh, you know, some heat and no rain. So there is some concern that all this mud could start to harden and it be that much more difficult to get through it, to clean it up, and to get these people uh, access out of their homes to those neighborhoods. I just met a woman not too long ago who uh, tried, who was rescued yesterday, tried to walk through it to get back to her home to get some necessary things. She wasn't able to make that journey. So, you know, it's a situation that I think a lot of people are still trying to wrap their heads around, truly in awe of the level of destruction. And I'll point out some things as we come back live here, and you'll see, of course, it's not just the navigation ability uh, for the roads like this, but you take a look at the cars here and I mean this little Honda Civic in front of me gives you uh, just a dire picture. I mean there's no way uh, with how high that mud is nearly covering that entire tire uh, that they're going to be able to drive out of here and you notice that cars in the same situation one after the other after the other that trash can nearly halfway filled. I mean, it, it's almost like a dried up lake in a way, what you're looking at here, but this is a residential community. Uh, so Jane, this is a, you know, a tough situation. There are people here trying to make the best of it. You know, they've got some supplies at home. They're out here sweeping their driveways and trying to trek through the mud barefoot if they need to, but it's not a great situation. Uh, they know it's going to take several days to clean this up. Uh, the emergency manager here, the mayor both agreed. Uh, so it's about people just trying to uh, get through the next few days as best they can. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.